Hi, I'm Pox. I'm Couch Guy running a camera, and we're in the lovely city of uh, losing your money. Yes, you're watching the Two Smart Guys show live, streaming from a laptop over a 4G cushion. In Las Vegas. I think we should call it Raggable. You know, can we get Raggable on the speakerphone? Yeah. By the way, those of you who don't know, this is a, uh, this is us. You're about to see that feedback. There's a whole mess of cable down here. And this lovely little sprint thing that we're broadcasting with. Hi, huh? ah, you're live on Two Smart Guys Television in Las Vegas. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you broadcasting to? <laughs> yeah, actually, if you uh, go to your yeah. internet site and go to <laughs> www.justintv forward slash two smart guys, you too can watch a live feed of the interstate in uh, Los Angeles, Las Vegas. <laughs> Let's see. 4G technology. Yeah, well, that's a lovely interstate. <laughs> it came up that quick, huh? Four. Uh, yeah. 4G uh, technology. What are you streaming over? 4, 4G. Like we're going to Vegas Boulevard. Ooh. And we're, we're using the EX1, and it's connected through uh, HDB FireWire through the MacBook Pro. And streaming off of a uh, 4G Sprint card. And it's all sitting on my lap. <laughs> That's going to bring your nads off. Yeah, well, you know. We won't talk about that. <laughs> well, you guys had it. Well, we're late for something to try and win something, but, you know, we're, you know, five minutes away from, uh, you know, Two Smart Guys broadcast, and, well, we can't do it without you anymore. Oh, I think you've got plenty to do there in Las Vegas to broadcast about. <laughs> so, Raggable, there's this um, company that, that backpack that Lee Laporte was using, and it has six cards in it. They charge. They don't. They don't. Six of them, huh? Yeah, six of them. Two from each provider. Here's how they do it. It actually, um, you do run a server at their at at you know your home site or whatever, and it splits up the packets of all the carriers, and it sends them out. And if it's you know not receiving from one, it it tells it to use the other ones, and it reassembles it on the back end. So that's how they do their um, trunking and stuff. So, okay, so you're essentially trunking the connection between your home PC or a PC somewhere else and the backpack. Right, right. It's just the stream. You know, it's just the bits for the video. But they charge $1,500 a month. Whoa, what are they charging $1,500 for? Well, Rental the backpack. Yeah, you, you rent the unit and they take care of all the support and make sure you always have a working unit. And pay the, the cell phone bill for six cards. <laughs> wow. So you're renting the unit, you're renting the air time. Yeah. Wow. Fifteen hundred bucks a month. Yeah. And apparently that's the S don't have like an hourly rate or a daily rate. That's what I was asking. I was like, can you just rent it for a week? Yeah. I mean even you know, at three fifty a week. For a couple of days and give it back. Well apparently they're they are working on something some they're they are working on something that I cannot disclose at the moment. But it has to do with the people that we're broadcasting with right now. I'm going to have to let you guys go. Lachlan's waking back up. I can only back down with him. All right. He's sick. Goodbye, Raggable. Sorry. Right. Thanks for calling me up. All right. This is not really Raggable. This is a voice recording, pre-recorded, to ensure that I'm still alive. They're fooling you. With a voice actor. <laughs> Night, guys. Good See night. Ya. Good luck. Go to meeting. Go to meeting. Go to meeting. Hey, you know, when you're at these things and you can't be in the office, or better yet, when they're here and you're stuck in the office, guess what you have to use? Go to meeting. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, um, uh, like I said in our, in our last episode, me and Raggle have been using it to work on projects when, uh, obviously, in another state. <laughs> yeah. Like like now. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's, it's super easy. You want to give it a try. It's go to meeting.com slash podcast. That's go to meeting.com slash podcast. All right. Hi, I'm Fox. I'm Couch Guy. And you're watching the Two Smart Guys Show. Two Smart Guys Show, live from Las Vegas. And it is as live as you can get. We are in downtown, almost Las Vegas. And so, uh, Yeah, if you're watching this from our, our live stream that we do every Wednesday night, 
Um, we're streaming off a 4G card, which is intermittent at best. <laughs> yeah, we, we're actually cutting out here and there. So if we cut out, we're sorry. We'll come back as soon as possible. Yeah. Um, so why are we down here? We are down here because for the annual National Association of Broadcasters Convention, uh, formerly or actually affectionately NAB. It's uh, all the guys that do all the media, all, all the video and film and yeah, anything that deals with a camera, editing system, broadcast, radio, TV, actually quite a bit of web, um, you know, cable. Anyway, a lot of cool technology down here, a lot of really expensive cool technology. Things that no one gets to see for a long time, which actually brings us to what are we seeing a lot of this year? 3D! Everything 3D. Everything's 3D. And whether or not you have the uh, Canon Mark V, or no, Canon 5D Mark II. Yes. You either um, have something in 3D or you have something to accessorize the 5D Mark II. <laughs> and if you have the 5D Mark II and you're not using it for video, can I? Because it's very pretty. <laughs> um, yeah, if you saw our, our uh, last couple episodes, they did some things with a DSLR at the beginning, and it's pretty cool. Yeah, and the stuff that they're using it for and where they're using it, will blow your mind. Yeah, if you watch the any of the SNLs lately, the, a lot of the the not live stuff is all shot. With, and the entire open. Yeah, the entire opening. Um, the fi- season finale of House is being shot on it. Yeah, it has just it's the the way this little still camera has taken over and has uh, become a major part of um, some very remarkable productions is just amazing. So. Um, what else can we talk about? Well, there's a lot of stuff, but what what are what are any of the new technologies that you saw or products that are the game changers? No, see that that's the problem. <laughs> Everything is we're on our way right now. Actually, we're late. Uh, we're really late. For um, by the way, this is tonight a PG-13 show because of the live strip on Vegas. We cannot guarantee you <laughs> won't see anything like it's in front of us. Um. The uh, the things that you, we're going to right now is Red. Red is announcing some new stuff or actually displaying their new stuff. If you're not familiar with Red and you've been sleeping under a rock. Or if you're not in production. Well, that's true. Um, they make a, or they made one of the first 4K digital cameras that didn't cost, like, well, period, I guess. Well, okay, so <laughs> long story short, most video cameras in terms of video are shot on a really small sensor, or were five years ago. Let's say five years ago, because I think it yes. was actually six. Yeah. So f- six years ago, five years ago, RED was the game changer. Because RED came out and said, hey, we're making our own sensor. Screw you guys. We're going to be awesome on our own. The okay. guy from uh, Oakley, tons of cash, said, I'm going to make this fun I'm little project. I'm financing everything. Yeah. And he did. And they make an amazing camera. Okay. Um, and they're making an even more amazing camera right now. But now, guess what? They're old news. Um, and as much as they are, they still have amazing cameras. But they are as much old news as 3D in the 50s. Um, <laughs> well, like, the, the, their competition, Red's competition was basically the Sony whatever, right? The F30, F2, F23, which is a two-thirds inch chip. And then the F35, one actually started working, which is a 35 millimeter chip. Right, which is like a basically, what, a quarter million bucks? A rig. Uh, yeah, that's what I asked for for our uh, Black Friday show. Right, and then you know, what's, and a, that's what's a quarter million for, for Red? About fifty thousand. Red, red equipped. equipped. Well, okay, Red without the lens is twenty five thousand. Red, red with a lens set, and the gear you're running seventy thousand. Okay, still like at least a, a third, half, half to a, a quarter of what it would cost you to get into it. Because we're not even talking about lenses yet when we talk to the F thirty five. You know, we haven't touched a lens. You only rent lenses out of that machine. Um, So, we are... uh, So, the game changer now is DSLRs. Yeah, because no one expected, including Canon, did not expect this camera to take off the way it did. So, they've got this little camera who they thought originally would go to, like, wedding photographers. And they would shoot a little bit of piece of video, shoot their stills... And have a camera that would be more appealing and more sellable compared to a Nikon or something else. Instead, those of us in video were like, holy crap, huge sensor, 
amazing optic abilities. Let's use this camera and see if we can actually get something out of it. So <coughs> we did, and we proved that it does some amazing stuff. We so, being the broadcast industry. So, it, so this, those rigs are well under ten thousand dollars. Yeah, you can pick up with a, like multiple big lenses. <laughs> yeah, you could probably pick up for ten thousand dollars. You can pick up the the camera, a, a slew of great lenses. Now you're not going to get an amazing lens set that like Zeiss makes, but you're going to get some great lenses. And then you're going to get the audio package, a tripod thing. You're going to get a full setup. For what would cost you the body. Not even that. Like the beginning of a body. You know. Um, for so much higher end camera. Um, so it's it's completely. I don't know what you're doing but. You're scaring me in the internet. <laughs> Well, the lines, the lines on the road, they were all the over the place. The lines are everywhere. And the people on the right and left of me went all over the place. In totally opposite directions. <laughs> By the way, Las Vegas is really dangerous when you're driving around streaming. <laughs> Screaming or Stream. screaming? <laughs> well, I'll start screaming. Left only, which you cannot go because it's blocked off. So make a U-turn. Yeah. And that when it turns green. When it turns green. Yeah. <laughs> um... All right, so I got to think of something else that came out. Like Panasonic came up with some new cameras. There's new cameras out there. There, you know, there's Panasonic's coming out with a a, a video camera with a DSLR size sensor or the ish. Sensor. Yeah, they, I love the fact that they like showed the two thirds inch sensor and then said it's was it four thirds or what was, it, what was the size of it they put out? Oh, I don't remember. Three three quarters or so. It was anyway. It was not anywhere the comparable sizes. And then Sony showed off something too, like in a back room, closed doors, and people tweeted pictures about it. And they're doing something also, but it was very vague. Yeah. Um, so. as far as 3D, 3D, you will see a lot more of soon. Uh, I, I I can't even describe how much a lot more you're really gonna see. Everybody and their brother beam splitter set up with two cameras. And a beam, yeah. what a beam splitter does is it allows you to mount the camera's lenses close together because the was it, inocular distance is like yeah, two and a half inches. Interocular uh, distance is what makes uh, 3D happen. And so what you have to have is two cameras that are set up. Oh god! Um, Which way may go? Do that way. Right. Uh. <laughs> um. Two, two cameras set up that what resemble ratio wise the human distance between your two eyeballs. Right. And the closer you get, the bigger things look, the further away you get, the smaller things look. So, what they want to do is try and get them as close to human <clears throat> width as possible. And so, this crazy rig has a camera upside down and mounted vertically, and the other one has is mounted normally. And they're all over the place. So you're going to see sporting events. I guess DirecTV is going to start doing something. Here's the catch: you still have to have the glasses. And no, if you don't want to, if you don't want to have to have pay for a really expensive set of uh, glasses to watch it, you have to have very, very expensive TV. <laughs> yeah, it's one or the other. And so, the expensive TV only works in 3D. Yeah, only works in 3D. So you either have a dedicated TV for 3D, or you have to wear or, or you have the um, the expensive glasses. glasses, so it's it's a toss-up. Although there were a few displays of TVs that did not require glasses, what they do is it's like the holograms that you see uh, kid uh, stuff on. Yeah, yeah, they're not really holograms. I can't remember. But what it's they're like called. that material, that zigzag material yeah, that just, makes things look holographic. Right. So the, they just kind of shoot the, the 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 light out slightly every Left other right. line. You know. Yeah. Uh, and when they do that, it you gives you to, the impression of 3D. Yeah, you have to be. At the perfect spot to look, look at it. It's almost back to projection TVs, where to be right, almost directly dead on in a uh, low lit room. And then even then, it's it, the resolution's all funky looking. Yeah, it's just not pretty. It gets weird and fast motion and things like that. They show it with really slow moving things. This is your exit. Uh, yeah. So anyway, right now we are on our way to Tropicana. Uh, there's the MGM. There's, you know, uh, 
Yeah, that Excalibur, one. Excalibur, Mandalay Bay. Oh, we can't really see Luxor. Um, New York, New York, and the Crazy Coasters. You know, they actually redid the si- the the skyline after 9/11 to match. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Behind us was Paris. You probably saw. And... Anyway, so we're doing what we didn't think was possible, and we're streaming from a 4G stuff. So, um, real man, how's it going? Um, <laughs> good to see you. Um, there's, there's a few things that uh, Thompson shot. Uh, we, we shot a couple different products that we really thought were interesting. Yeah, I've, I've got a couple of things that, you know, between my blog and things like that I was doing, I was kind of shooting some video. I failed miserably trying to put things up on YouTube while I was here, but oh well. That means we get to save it for you guys. Yeah, so um, we're going to show you uh, some clips of that in our final edited version right at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what else we saw. That I, I, My brain is so wrapped up in that little camera and then 3D because that's all I saw while I was really there. Um, I saw stuff for my work where I've got like arms and things like that for editing. And I saw this really cool backpack streamer, which is doing exactly what we're doing right now. But yeah. more successfully because they had multiple cards trunked together. They had six um, air cards. So the three major carriers... And two, two cards each. each, so that way it would just bounce between whoever had service at the time. And it's not something we could afford at this point, but maybe we can try and put together our own if we can figure out how the hell they did it. Well, I don't <laughs> think you want to pay for six cards no matter what you do. Well, that's a very good point. But I have two, and I could at least do the two between Altel and Sprint, then we might be able to have yeah. something. And then if my phone, if I could um, tether my phone, we'd have AT&T. Actually, you probably could three. tether a couple of phones. Oh, yeah. You know, you tether multiple phones. You might need multiple, you know, uh, we have PCs or something. Snag sort. any Wi-Fi's that we drive by. <laughs> I tell you what, I've snagged a couple of Wi-Fi's while we're here that are just amazingly um, open. <laughs> and, yeah, here's the thing: if you've never been to Vegas, you need an air card because Vegas absolutely does not supply. That's valet parking, man. It, trust me, it's not. Oh. They're remodeling this place. I drove around for a half hour trying to find the parking lot. Oh, night. lucky you. <laughs> um, all right, so here's the trick. Uh, Las Vegas does not give away anything. Uh, you have the crappiest um, selection of television channels. Um, <laughs> you have... They want you out of your, your room in the casino. Yeah. They want you uh, to... There's security guys, Sunday, come on. Uh, and they don't give you any, any free Wi-Fi. So that, like, the Hampton Inn that you get free Wi-Fi on... Um, when you go stay at your, you know, aunt's house, you don't get that when we're doing, um, in Vegas. It's like 18 bucks a day. It sucks. So the why the air card is the right way to go. Look, hypnosis unleashed. All right. So products, products. What did you tape? I taped, I taped a really cool thing, a spider, which is a color corrector for the... I was supposed to tape products. Oh, of things was, that you're interested in. I was taping other things. Oh, <laughs> I don't even know what I taped. I, I taped landing of the air pl- of me landing in Vegas, which is something that I found out was very <laughs> illegal for me to do. <laughs> Anyways, um, the, 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 the the spider thing, they also make this cool little cube for like doing white balance and like it'd be great for compositing our stuff in uh, Beyond the Clipping Plane. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you show me that. And... Um, uh, you what know, else? I saw a lot of SAN server stuff and a lot of things that... Um, a lot of USB 3.0 products. A lot of USB 3.0. So Blackmagic came out with some major cool things. Um, we use a lot of Blackmagic stuff in the production of the show uh, in regards to how the video interacts in the computer and all that stuff. Um, turn your blinker off. Sweet. Uh, that van doesn't try and take it. Oh, I bet they were already planning Either way, they it. don't take a blinker on. They don't count. I'm telling you, I've Denver rules. A- Denver rules, man. Uh, I had a guy try and kill me over an argument and parking like that. Yay, I'm taking it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, who are we going to park next to? A nice car. All right, so we got to wrap this thing anyway, up. Anyway, we're all done. Oh. Uh, we got to, uh, let's see, wrap this up. Um, um, oh, any, any last thing that you saw that was extra cool? You know... Extra cool. Um, no, you know, 
a lot of really cool stuff. Nothing that really comes to mind. Um, the color corrector for a thousand dollars is probably the biggest thing that I saw uh, in terms of. Neat. Adobe had some pretty cool stuff. Oh, CS five. CS five. Look, they just had some amazing features that'll make things yeah. a million times easier. Um, but you know, a lot of stuff you could have learned without ever going to the show. <laughs> well, don't say that too loud because somebody paid for me to come to the show. Although, if if you are listen, looking for the different DSLR rigs, uh, you had to try them out because there's yeah. just no way looking online you'd well, be able to tell. I, you know, a lot of the stuff that like wouldn't really be a big deal to the, some of the people watching, like for me, like the, the Zeiss Primes, the new stuff that you can stick on these DSLR rigs, and the, finding out that these Zeiss Primes, which are amazingly expensive lenses, um, they have interchangeable backs. It doesn't matter what um, lens I'm using or what mount I need. I can mount it on anything. Awesome. So that's huge when you're spending, talking about spending sixty, eighty thousand dollars on lenses, you know, to be able to mount it on this camera or this other camera or whatever camera I rent in the future. So. Red party must go. Um, yeah, yeah. So tune in next week. We'll have more cool things, I'm sure. Until then. Uh, TwoSmartGuys.com Thank And we will see you guys next week. More of our stuff to our TwoSmartGuys.com This has been a Two Smart Guys production.